Hello children today we are going to start with matter so without wasting any time let's get started matter anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter everything around us is matter and it exists in three different states solids liquids and gases on the basis of properties of a substance it is categorized as solid liquid or gas these properties in turn depend on the arrangement of tiny particles which constitute all matter now let us see how the arrangement of tiny particles influences the properties of a substance first is solids in solids the particles are packed very close to each other therefore they have a fixed shape and size some examples are furniture kitchen utensils electronics books clothing food vehicles footwear of solids solids differ greatly in their nature some solids like stones and diamond are very hard while some solids like cloth and paper are very soft now next comes liquids the particles in liquids are not so closely packed as in solids and are free to move about this is why liquids do not have a fixed shape some examples of liquids are oil water blood mercury and milk when poured liquids flow easily and take the shape of the container and last comes gases the particles in gases are very loosely packed gases do not have a fixed shape some examples of gases are air helium ozone carbon dioxide and water vapor gases take up all the available space as their particles are very loosely packed